My name is Rob Bunch, and this course is on technical communication. And by that, I mean I'm going to cover how technical people can more effectively communicate with non-technical people as well as with their peers. And the content in the course will be valuable to anybody with a niche level knowledge that they need to communicate. So if you're an academic or a physician or an attorney, etc., you will get value out of this. But it is going to be tilted more towards engineers because that is my background. I am a software engineer of about 20 years. And so to make sure that this is clear up front, I do not have a master's degree in communications. I, I have not spent my career touring around talking about this to, to big companies. I am a guy who's had his boots on the ground for 20 years as an engineer and has seen and done everything wrong. I have seen and done everything right. And if you look at my repertoire of courses, you'll see that I typically teach people how to code. You want to learn how to program? I have a course that teaches beginners uh, Python, right? You will, maybe you're not in software. I, I have courses that if you know this particular language, um, you, you can use this part of it better and I'll teach that, that portion. So why teach this soft skill, Rob? Why is this interesting to you? Why branch out? Because I have taught hundreds of people in person and I've taught countless people online, engineers. And as engineers or as technical people, we, we are always looking for that next thing, right? Whatever that next thing is to make us more valuable. I am a voracious learner, so I absolutely appreciate it. I always love to chase the shiny thing. But what's the thing that makes most uh, most engineers more valuable, not as engineers, but as employees, right? As, as assets to the company, you are going to spend more time probably interacting with people, whether it's writing presentations, whether it's in a meeting with your boss, whether it's team meetings, right? In whatever whatever format, more so than you spend on your actual hard skill. So when people finish a program or have, have recently learned, you know, whatever skill, this is the place I would love for them to go next. And so that's why I'm teaching it because I'm passionate about it. I have worked with engineers that were twice the engineer anybody else on the team. They, they prototyped quickly. Their code was tight. They were, they were fast to the correct solution. And I couldn't stand working with them or, or management couldn't stand working with them because they always came across as rude, as arrogant, or they didn't know, you know just how to, how to not come across as a know-it-all. And the truth is, at least in many cases, they were very sweet people. They just didn't know how to communicate. And there's people on the other side of that where they're barely able to do their job. But I know I can teach them the hard skills. They're already good at the soft stuff. I will make that person, uh, I will make that person successful. So the way the course is organized uh, is we are going to start off by talking about audience analysis. Everything is going to flow out of this uh, this topic because until you've identified where the person is at on the spectrum, you can't really make good decisions about any of the other stuff. We will also talk about writing, so things that endure, things like emails, presentations, etc. We will talk about verbal, so focusing on one-on-ones that you might have with your non-technical boss or with your peers or maybe with a stakeholder. And then we will also talk about feedback when you need to give it, how to give it effectively, and then when you need to take it, how to take it uh, in, a, in a gracious way. Um, and I wanna make sure that this is clear. I typically teach how to code. That is a very binary thing. Once you know how a list works in Python, you can apply it correctly every single time. This is not like that. I cannot make you a better communicator. I can't give you the silver bullet that will always make you come across in an email uh, as a really kind, generous person with exactly the right analogy. I can give you principles and we will do assignments that will move you in that direction, but you have to work at it. You have to commit to the assignments and you have to consistently come back and reapply it. You are a person and you are working with people, right? Unless the chat bots have taken over by the time you watch this, you are gonna have different interactions every time. And so the goal is to simply move in this direction, right? Headed northeast where you're getting better. Even if you have a bad days, working on it consistently is the thing that will make you a better employee and thus a better engineer.